Oh, we're not gonna start this one with the... We could. CJ's first cooking show. Scene. Call Mark. Take on me. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome to CJ's first cooking show on this glorious Florida day. It is a glorious day. It's not too humid. It's getting close to it, but it is quite not too hot. glorious. Not just too hot. right. Just right. And for just right days, I thought, I need, fry. <laughs> I need I need no lo mein. What the heck? So today, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to make a peppered beef Cashew. Lo mein. It's, I, I'm gonna add cashews, but I didn't know if it needed to be in the name because it's kind of just a top. Cashewed pepper beef lo mein. It's in there somewhere. Hey, Maybe? before we jump in, go like, subscribe, hit the bell. You'll get the notification when all of our shows are on. But hey, if hey, you ring the bell, we ring the bell. You ring, we ring. Eh? Eh? On that one, eh? welcome to CJ's first cooking show where we cook and we quote. <laughs> Here we go, we're gonna do this. We're gonna roll, get scoot, and we got a lot to do. A lot Wait happening. Wait for the good pitches. Wait for the, dude. <laughs> Wait for the good pitches. And this is the good pitch. Okay. Um, our first ingredient is rice vinegar. The other day I asked you the question and you gave me a ridiculous answer. I gave you I gave you the correct answer, well, I was honest with you. Okay, so tell me, how do they make rice vinegar? It's vinegar made from rice. I mean, it's not. Thank you for the same answer again that yeah, gives me no insight into how they make rice vinegar. The same. Okay, so you don't know. That's fine. That's fine. It's cool. I get it. You don't know. <laughs> yep. Guys, uh, then we're gonna add some sriracha. Now, Ooh, this is one where of my you favorites. Can control your heat. If you like it extra, if you like it extra, sloppy. extra sloppy. I know how you kids like them sloppy. <laughs> add quite a bit. If you don't like it hot, leave this part out or add just a little. Next in our ingredients, we're gonna go to the trude and the try, or the try and the trude. <laughs> the or trude the, and the try. The, 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 Soy sauce. Yeah. We're gonna go with soy sauce. Give it a decent amount. Um, that is gonna be our, essentially our salt. Mm -hmm. Our umami, if you will. I'm so proud of you. I know. I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm a grown baby boy. I got a teardrop. Now, here's this, this other fun ingredient. It's got the soy element, but it's also got the citrus mm. zest. Mm. I'm detecting mm. soy mm. and citrus. <laughs> it's yes. chewy. <laughs> Ew. Yep. That was the line from Frasier. <laughs> from the TV show? Yeah, he was uh, tasting wine. And he goes, <laughs> chewy. Mm, bold, chewy. It was jammy, plummy, dense, and chewy. <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna add a little bit of this because I want to get some of that fun citrus flavor as well. Um, now we're gonna do some sesame oil. If you've ever used sesame oil, there's a good chance You've made the mistake like <laughs> I have, and you have used way too much before, and you learned your lesson. Don't play with that fire. Wow. Just a little bit is going to do the trick. You haven't even mixed it, and it smells fantastic. I know. And if you'll notice, I'm, I'm making a pretty decent amount of uh, sauce here. Now, the next thing we're going to do, which in the order of it, I actually put this th as the beginning, but I forgot to put it at the beginning. <laughs> we're going to be doing... Now, this is chicken uh, stock. Chicken broth and chicken stock. They are two different things. I would love to tell you the difference. Whatever one, you know, but you know one what? Is nerd made, alert. <laughs> nerd one is made. One is made. alert. With uh, the bones. Yes. And the other is stock. not. The other is made with vegetables. The other one's made with bones and meat. That's Broth? what I meant to say. Yeah. Strike that. No, it's not even a reverse. It's just strike it. <laughs> just get rid of it. <laughs> From the record. <laughs> From the record. We're gonna add some of this chicken stock. That's going to give us a little bit more uh, body, so as it reduces on the griddle, uh, we get to keep all those flavors, and the chicken stock reduces. Precisely what I was going to say. Weird. How about that airplane? Hey, we have fresh garlic. Sorry! Dude, how good was that scene in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom when they jump out of the plane with a raft? <laughs> That's a good and one. they make it. <laughs> Pre- jarred minced garlic. This is a really quick way to get around mm -hmm. having to do your own, but it's really delicious. Um, a, a good healthy spoonful there. Now, this is the part where it gets a little more lengthy. Tell them what we've got here. Oh, some ginger. You got some ginger. Delicious We're gonna do ginger. some fresh ginger. Now Not there fresh is a garlic, trick. but fresh ginger. <laughs> right. Of all the things that we could have gone a different route with. Um, fresh ginger, there is a trick to this. There is. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. Um, Essentially, we're gonna be using a spoon. And why would we be using a spoon? Cause it would hurt more. Why a spoon? 
cousin. Why not a axe? Because it's dull, you twit. It'll hurt more. This is really cool. You don't have to use a knife or a peeler. We're going to just get a blunt spoon, and we're going to peel off this exterior yeah, of the ginger. Uh, so you don't waste as much. Waste not, want not. Waste not, want not. Uh, waste not, want not. Now essentially what you're looking for is this to be basically the same size as your garlic because it is strong, it's potent, it's got a lot of punch to it. Do what you want to do. We don't have any paper towels. Oh no. Doesn't count. Are you sure? It counts. Wait a minute. I can't even change anything. Wait, I think I can change one thing. Out of the way, out of the way. Out of the way. It kind of works. Dio? Like Dio? <gasps> Holy, Holy diver! diver! <laughs> Holy diver! You've been down too long in the midnight sea. Actually, there's two last little things that we're going to be adding to our sauce, and that is a little cornstarch for you. A little bit of cornstarch, and finally, the last ingredient is our white sugar. I like to add a decent amount of this because I really do want this to be more on well, actually, equally sweet as it is sure. salty. It's more pleasing on the palate. Exactly. Give this a quick mix, and um, then I think we are about to be ready to go with our steak. I think that probably, that's the one step that takes the longest in the entire recipe. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so we've got a nice thick ribeye here. We have this, um, I had this in the freezer for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, to get it firmed up so it makes it easier mm -hmm. to slice. Now you can slice this as thick as you want it, but really what I'm gonna be going for is nice, thin slices of beef. I love that uh, you chose ribeye too because of all the fat. Yeah, don't trim off this fat. The fat is the flavor and you are definitely gonna want that. All the fat. Day. Oh, the fat, that's where it's at. Hold on, hold on, I'm almost done and then we're going. Hold, hold on. on, hold on. Hold on. Hi, how are ya? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Steve Zahn? I don't know because he's I'm brilliant. sure he's watching. Steve. Steve, come on buddy. Give us a call, come hang out with us. You know what, I would just like to cook for Steve. Is that cool? All right, I'm keeping all that fat. What if fat. we both cook and he just is a judge? There it is. Steve, here we go. Ringing the bell. This one's for Steve's on. <laughs> Here's to Steve. <laughs> <sighs> There's nothing like a good bell ring to <laughs> cleanse the palate and prep you for cooking the beef. So let's head over to Finally our- Finally, we're cooking. Let's head over to our 36 inch Blackstone griddle that whoa, has been whoa, preheating. Whoa, 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 CJ Frazier, what are you, what are you, yeah, what are you yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we want it hot. We want it screaming hot. Let's put down some <laughs> olive oil. This is going to be our median for that remarkable sear that we're about to get. Ooh. And yes, smoking is what you want at this point. We're going to get that. Fast and furious. Yep. Oh, heck yeah. We're almost in like cheesesteak territory at the moment. And it's not quite thin enough. We're infringing upon cheesesteak territory. Now while that's cooking, go ahead and spread it out. You want to give it some space so that everything gets nice and crispy and caramelized. This is a quick process because as you saw, I sliced my meat super thin, so it's not going to take a whole long time. A whole long. whole long Man, time. You need or another a whole ring. lot of time. You need another one of those. <laughs> I think well, you're right. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> Woo. Guys, I, I'm going to grab my green and red bell peppers. We're going to give a these a slice. Yes, I got a scoot. And um, basically what we're looking for is to de-pith, get rid of our seeds. <laughs> what did someone say? You get pithed off. Pithed off pepper. A pithed off bell pepper. It's like Mike Tyson hanging out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry Mike, I know you're also watching. Iron Mike, Iron Mike, nope. nope. No hate, no hate, it's all good. Now a, a lot of times for recipes I will do like thin julians, but I'm going to kind of do like a medium size square, oh, I guess. Okay. What would be the, just, just Bite a... Bite size, how about that? Oh wow, these are like flying all over flying the place. Flying all over the place, bro. Because I, I want some crunch with yeah. our bell pepper. And we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna do this to our green and our red, and we're gonna get them put on the griddle. We're gonna set them next to our steak, not inside oh. of the steak. So they're gonna cook in a little bit of that beef fat. Yeah, not inside the steak. Beside the steak, not inside the steak. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about right now. Me either. Now, as I've gotten older in my life, as, as the days have grown shorter or something like that, I have fallen in love with bell peppers, and it's this, one of the good vegetables. This, it's a good <laughs> fruit, actually. Oh, this guy! Yes, yeah, sir. Dude, now have a look here, real quick. I just tossed this. See oh, that? Oh, gorgeous! That's what I'm talking about. So we are really, we pretty much got to the point where we don't need that screaming heat. Okay. So I'm going to turn down my heat. That way, it doesn't cook me at the same temperature as the entire time. 
smells amazing. It TV. smells remarkable. Wow. Look at that meat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You got some beef wanting to hang out with the bell peppers. Hey, one of your friends is back. Whoa! Oh! Get him. CJ, get him. Whoa, he wants to ring the bell. Okay. What are you? <laughs> hey, we gotta, we gotta honor the bell. Honor the bell. Honor, honor the bell. Tanya. Yeah, huh? So our beef is got plenty of caramelization. Our bell peppers have had a chance to start to soften up and cook. So let's incorporate that. Like it. Dude, look at that color. Oh, the great the aroma. The aroma. Amazing. Oh gosh, dude, this, all these little caramelized pieces oh. here. That's gonna be so delicious and crispy. Hello, hello. Now I do want my beef to be um, to have a little bit of that soy flavor, that salt umami yeah. flavor. So um, we're actually out of soy sauce over there, and <laughs> you have soy in your pocket. You never know. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm gonna add some soy to this. I'm gonna do this before we add our uh, other sauce that we made because I want this to reduce just a little bit and finish. Uh, the steak is gonna finish cooking oh, with wow. that soy. Look at that! Now it's actually important to note at this part you, you want to do this at the very end because soy sauce will burn yep. fast. So come have a look at this, dude. You're already starting to see the bubbles. Oh, the aroma. Yeah. Whoa. It's starting to reduce. Starting to uh, get these. This soy is getting involved. It's, it's getting involved with my bell peppers. Pretty and serious. You can say it's pretty serious. <laughs> you, can say, you can say it's pretty serious. I've been chatting online with babes all, all day. day. <laughs> Don't be jealous that I've been chatting online with babes all day. The beef is done cooking. Okay. Let's go with our noodles. Ooh, all right. Todd Tobin special. Here we go. The old, the old Tobin Zone special. This is, some might say it's cheating. I just say it's saving time. Yeah. I like to be frugal with my time. How do you feel about that? I feel good about it. Good. This is a great trick. This is an awesome trick. Now you can do two different types of noodles. There's the thicker udon noodles. What is this called? These are called just stir fry, stir -fry noodles. noodles. Yeah. Um, I like the smaller, thinner mm -hmm. noodles. So we're gonna add that down. You reckon that's wow. enough? Enough. A little, uh, little bright on those noodles. <laughs> a little hot in them rhinos. Kind of hot in these rhinos. We're gonna drop our noodles there, and buddy, buddy, it's time to sauce it up. The sauce is gonna help um, release the noodles from that current state that they're in. Beauty. So, there we go. Oh, you're not gonna do all of it? No, I'm saving half of it. Oh! Yeah, we're gonna save half towards the end here. This is gonna um, get thickened and caramelized, or not caramelized, it's gonna thicken up. Reduce that. And Corn reduce. Starch is gonna help. Oh, it smells so good. All right, I'm gonna do one last saucing, and then we're gonna move over here to a garnish. <laughs> one last saucing. One last saucing. A run there was by a one... fruiting. It was a run by fruiting. Oh, that's where all the ginger and the garlic was. Oh, Look at that. Oh, baby, baby. It was hanging out down there, wasn't it? It was. Let's get that mixed in. That was the money moment right there. That was it. Okay, let's let that, um, in the words of Betty, let's let that hang, hang out. out. I like how she says that. And get to some of our garni. Now up here, I'm gonna cut off the top because there's just out. there's just not a lot going on with that guy right there. I'm gonna cut down here, set those aside, and I want to get some of this lower. You What's the lower this? part? The uh, flavor in the whites is a bit more uh, delicate. Uh, I'm sorry, the flavor in the green part is a bit more delicate. The flavor in the white part is a bit more intense. So you really do have a flavor difference. So if you don't like that scallion or green onion flavor, you can just use the green part. Well, there you go precisely what I was thinking. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add a little bit of this oh, while whoa. it's cooking. Into the stir fry? Yeah. Look at you. Actually, this is technically Dude, a low add main. a little more, because I love the flavor. Well, Can we? Is this is this your cook or my cook? It's yours. Hey, but, but check I'm out this sauce it. right here. Yeah. We're getting those big bubbles, so now that we know it's reduced really, really well. And not burned. And not burned, my friends. You know also, that move turning down to low? That's where it's at. Yeah, because now we're gonna get that slow cook there. All right, this is just about, and in fact, I mean, it's pretty much ready to come off the griddle. One last thing to do. Oh, is dude, some I can cashews. get down on cashews. Oh, heck. Oh, are you gonna chop them up? Yes, sir. All right, all right. I, I'm, all, I'm all good in the hood with the full cashews, but. Can I, you, ah, whoa! <laughs> Not close. That uh, was close. You got a quick one. I got it. And this is just a rough chop. We don't have to get too small here. You could have some larger pieces, some of the smaller, but this is gonna add a fun, uh, a good texture. Yep. And also that saltiness from the cashew. Dude, it's gonna be. And the richness, it's a buttery nut. <laughs> it's 
rich buttery flavor to the nut. You can't do that, dude. That's not fair. I gotta ring the bell real quick. <laughs> it is. Here's to buttery nuts. Okay, now I'm gonna add some of this as a garnish at the very end, but I'm gonna do just a quick toss in Ooh, warm of it some up. of these. Good thinking. Get these uh, right in here, but boys, let's plate this up. You want to? You want to? I. So guys, over here, I've got my Brad cutting board that is gonna go. Yeah, that thing's gotten some use. I love it's, that thing. It's been here for a hot minute. Oh, 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 oh. before I set that oh, down. Oh. The presentation is everything, am I right, guys? Yeah. I've got these delicious <laughs> chow mein noodles. <laughs> I have a video of my daughter just <laughs> sitting in bed eating these. Yeah. What you got there? Um, skinny, crunchy noodles. You want some? Nah, dude. I'm gonna put this down as our bed. What? On the bottom? Yep. Won't they get soggy? That's the point. Oh. They're gonna I thought soak you liked how crunchy they were. They are delicious and crunchy, but they're really good when they're soaking up all the delicious. Hey, dude, you're messing with my presentation. All right. So now that we've got our bed, we're gonna set really? this right here. I've never seen this method. Oh yeah, this is the way to do it. I bet they'll soak up some of that sauce too. That's that's exactly why I'm doing it. You're a genius, CJ Frazier. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a pretty smart guy. Okay, I think that's probably an adequate amount on our plate. Let's you gotta, take this get a off. good relationship of flavors. <laughs> when you meet the person you want to be with for the rest of your life, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. What's no. that? I'll have what she's having. Oh, okay. When Harry met Sally. Yeah. Because when you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. I'm going to top it with a little bit of that green onion. Dude, it's stunning. And then we're going to do some cashews right on the top. Would it be weird if we did a drizzle of sriracha? Cause that's my jam. Um, that would not be weird. Yeah. That would be encouraged yeah. and lovely. Here we go. So now with that, you want to, I'm just centering my plate up here. Just uh, kind of Give wait. Give it a what for, a I what use it for. all the time. You gotta, gotta open that guy up. Yeah, that helps. And then um, uh -huh. just a nice, Wow. get it along the edges of the plate. That looks fantastic. And there you go, my friends. There you go. There you go. There you go. Magnifique. Oh, guys, one last thing. Wow. Oh, I almost forgot. What? You're so shocked. Dude, we've got, oh, lots, we've that's got nice. Garni for days, bro. Dude, you got, you got some tricks here. It's honestly. You know, people give you a hard time, but you're actually a really good cook. Ethan. <laughs> oh, and sure. thank you. Now it's complete. Now it's complete. Some simple store-bought stuff, some simple prep. Now the sauce was a little, it's a little robust. A little labor intense. There's a little labor, but honestly, it's just dump and stir. It's amazing. But the steak cooked yeah, that way, it's money, dude. sliced that way, the little bit of extra steps that you go to really help your presentation takes this it's recipe. Stunning. Into the stratosphere! <laughs> stratosphere! Hey, can we take this over and taste it? Shall we? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's head over to the bar, y'all. All right, here we go. Here we go. We got There's our chopsticks. Let me seat out here. Let me just saddle, saddle up here, partner. Saddle up. Saddle up, partner. <laughs> saddle up, partner. We got this crispy beef here. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna try a bit oh. of that. Oh, I'm gonna try a bit of the beef and the noodle. And the noodle. The noodle. Oh, it's so tender. I know. It is an all-star. Get your game on. Go play. Oh. Hey now, you're a rock star. Get the show on, get paid. Crunch is where it's at. Everything's where it's at. No. Oh. Where it's at. <laughs> I got two. I got two of a microphone. <laughs> this is awesome. I want you to try it. But. Wait, but me? It's time for a certain part of the episode where we get to have a lot of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. Hey there, sports fan! <laughs> if this is the first time that you've watched this part, or the first time you've watched this show long enough to True. get to this part True. of the show, this is the this is the gold, right? This is like the know. little nuggets of greatness. It depends on the comment. Basically, you write it, we read it. I screenshot it, and then I let the world know what you say on my show, where like all 19 people get so to view be it. Nice. Ooh. Ah. So <laughs> play nice. So play nice. All right, starting from the top in no particular order. Here we go. This is from Mike. Congrats, you've done it. You made the worst episode of <laughs> CJ's first cooking show. <laughs> 
Please don't let this happen again. Dang, which episode was that? That was with that was with Todd where we made the pizza. Dang, that was a great episode. Dude, that was so funny. Um he probably I'm gonna reverse bell you. Well that was that was really weird how you did that, weird. Ethan. Well played, buddy. Oh wait, cheers. Oh, oh yeah, geez. we're got kind of, I was just so almost broke our own rule. <laughs> a comment at number two. This is from Weave Daddy. I like oh, this guy. Weave guy. Well, that's 28 minutes and 36 seconds of my life I'll never get back. He watched all 28 minutes. After that, I feel like I had just crawled out of a cardboard box that's been thrown down a hillside and then hit by a garbage truck. Wow. Wow, dude, you're really a kind fellow. I love all your comments. They encourage me to be a better person. <laughs> I'm not, not. I'm not ringing the Can bell. Can we do another reverse bell? Those. Okay, funny. another Wait, reverse hang on, bell. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> David Biddle. I like Dave. Old David Biddle. He says, after many years of wondering, Nate now knows what it was like to sit in a Titanic lifeboat. Oh my gosh! <laughs> As carnage and mayhem ensued, he just sat back, saved himself and watched the Tovenberg sink the mighty CJ. Oh. Not even so much as a life vest was thrown. In remembrance, I shall honor this episode with a 21 bell salute. Yeah, 21, wow. 21 bell salute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Thank you. 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 Thank <laughs> Watching CJ try to wrangle Todd through this episode was like Man. when the substitute teacher unknowingly puts the worst behaved kid in charge of the class when she leaves to go to the bathroom. Which was CJ. And I feel like the whole time Nate was thinking, how has my life gone so far downhill <laughs> that I have to sit here and suffer this? Cheers. Ring that bell. Frank says, more cooking, less quotes. Pfft. You don't need that kind of negativity in your life. Great job as always. <laughs> nice. Ring the bell. Matt C says, watching CJ hold back when he feels like he's being spoken to by mom and dad is great. Love the special guest videos. Keep them rolling. Ring that bell. Rob says, this was an epic episode. So much fun and laughter. Excellent work. Oh, and there was an awesome pizza in it too. Ring that bell. See, Lindsay says, I'm waiting for Utah to give me two. <gasps> Utah. Break. Utah, give me two. Ring that bell. Nice. Oh, struggling oh. over there. Here we go. Last but not least, Beyond Dumb. <laughs> couldn't. That's a good one. Could or couldn't even stand to watch it all the way through. Yeah. Sorry, I was struggling with the grammar. He didn't like it. Yeah, some people don't mm. appreciate it. Ring that bell. There it is. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Seriously, we love you guys hanging out with us. Please leave some fun comments below or mean ones. Either way, also be sure to go check out Nate's show, Todd's show, Betty's show. Be sure to go to blackstoneproducts.com. It's the portal, the hub that gets you everywhere into the Blackstone universe, into the griddle nation of all nations. Thanks guys so much for hanging out. I am CJ. This is my first show where we cook. And we quote. Indeed we do. I will see you guys next time. Maybe. Just go. Just, Shh, just go. Just go. Shh.